Hey, what's going on today, DIYers? So I made a video about the V-Diag tool, um, and I've had a couple questions, so I, I wanted to kind of shoot this quick video to answer a couple of those questions. So first question was, hey, when you're making resistance checks, does it give you some kind of color feedback? Red, green, that you've made a connection, you haven't made a connection, um, or anything else. So what I can tell you is right now, we're measuring 1.3K. So I've got my ground here, grounded to my frequency generator. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. And then I've got my positive probe actually hooked up to that particular device, but I'm gonna disconnect it. You can see that we're measuring no resistance right now, an open connection, so no visual feedback. But if I go and I make continuity, you're gonna get an audible alarm, but again, no visual feedback. So no LEDs are gonna light up, no color display in the screen. So that's my resistance check. So the next thing I wanna check is there was a uh, person, God, that gets annoying. There was a person in one of the chats that said, hey, can I test my crankshaft sensor? in the oscilloscope mode or the frequency mode. So that's what I'm gonna simulate here using this signal generator. For those of you who've been around for a little while, this is definitely old. It's analog, we could use a digital one, but who cares? We can measure the frequency and voltage here using our power probe. So let me get this in frame a little bit, move our camera over. So what we're gonna do, set it to frequency like we have it connected. And again, my connection positive, it's coming through a jumper lead over to here, just grounding it to my frequency generator. When I turn it on, right now I have it set up to output a 60 hertz signal. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing that waveform. So every time this thing re-sweeps, refreshes the, the probe, you'll hear that audible tone. It's giving me a voltage reading right now, anywhere from two volts, six volts. Again, this is an AC uh, waveform. So obviously it's gonna fluctuate back and forth. So let's see how far this can go. Right now, we're up to 614 Hertz. Let's bring it up to 1K. We're up to 6.1K. Let's make some minor adjustments. We're up to 10K. We're up to 15K. We're up to 20K. 25K. 30K. We're just going crazy now. We're up to 40, 45, 50. Let's bring it back down. Let's see if we can get to 100. So we'll change my range. So right now, we're at 100K. I'm still seeing a pulse width, but I'm not getting any frequency readout. So let's see if we can bring this down to 50K. Yeah, so right around, now we're at 20, 25. Again, hopefully this is coming through. It looks like right around 50K is our resolution. Now, we're not gonna get a frequency read out here, but we are getting a pulse width. So let's see how far we can go. So this might tell you that you're seeing some signal from your crankshaft, injector, camshaft sensor. It's, gonna, it's not gonna measure the frequency. Yeah, losing it right around 200K. Yeah. So for those of you who are looking for the resolution of this thing, it's somewhere in the neighborhood 150K. Okay, so that's the resolution of this power probe. I don't know what the other power probes can do, but that's what this one can do. So hopefully that answered those questions for you. Um, if it helped you, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And, you know, if you want to see something else, just give me a holler and we'll see what we can do for you. For now, have a good one.